Jeff Bezos' Most Expensive Watches Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, became the most recent person to fly into space when he rode an enormous dildo into orbit. He's the most recent space traveler in the history of the world. With this achievement, he became the newest person in the world to journey into space. Bezos has surpassed all other candidates for the title of the richest person globally. Let's not go into the ramifications for the rest of the internet. Instead, let's talk about a fashion faux pas that Bezos made on the road. Today, we're not going to go into the ethical repercussions that Bezos' space expedition may have. Prepare yourself to discuss his methodology since we will be doing so. We are intrigued by the fact that Mr. Bezos wore a massive cowboy hat both before and after the trip for what seems to be no discernible purpose. But for the time being, we we will disregard this detail. In addition to this, we're worried about how he was wearing his expensive Swiss watch. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at Jeff Bezos' most expensive watches. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's get started with our video. Bezos is wearing an Omega watch, a Blue Origin Velcro-strapped Speedmaster professional model. On the other hand, his jumpsuit was reversible, so there was another side. Bezos appears to have missed the memo that it's important to ensure the cuffs of your shirt are covering your watch at all times, which is something you should do if you're a watch enthusiast. Internet satirists such as Elliot Tabell and other well-known social media comedians seized the opportunity Bezos' watch incident offered and ran with it. Horological Dictionary is one of the voices taken taking part in the fun being had at the cost of the wealthy. Despite what most people think, we can't let it slip our minds. The authentic astronauts do not wear their watches on the inside of their spacesuit. Rather, they wear them on the outside. However, during his million-dollar joyride, Bezos was not wearing a spacesuit, actively flying his jet, or required to accomplish any open space work. Instead, Jeff Bezos was out having the time of his life on a spacecraft that cost $1 million. On the other hand, Bezos was only going through the motions of a leisurely trip across space. It has been nothing more than a farce through the difficult voyage. You and I don't know what to do with his watch, because Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins wore the Omega Speedmaster Professional on the Apollo 11 mission. The watch is now inextricably linked to the history of space travel. Since the astronauts wore the watch on their trip to the moon, it is often called the first moon watch. This is true because of this reason. But because it was made 64 years ago, the watch's design is now seen as old-fashioned. In 2021, expensive Swiss mechanical watches won't be as good for the harsh conditions of space travel as other types of watches. The technology in these watches will be more advanced and they'll be more useful. Some of the watches shown are the Apple Watch, the Pebble Time Steel. Since most of the astronauts on board wear G-Shock watches, it's possible that this watch would have been better for an astronaut. But even though this is the case, Omega watches, like the famous Speedmaster Professional, are often worn in space. This is because NASA has only approved Omega watches to be worn on spacewalks. As a result, more people are looking for Omega timepieces. The Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield is well known for using a Speedmaster Skywalker X33Y for the International Space Station. The X33, on the other hand, is an extremely contemporary wristwatch, powered by a quartz movement. It has a hybrid digital display composed of titanium and sapphire crystal. X33 is also water-resistant to a depth of 100 meters. The recent Bezos Blue Origin NS16 billionaire spaceflight has enthralled and infuriated people worldwide in recent days and weeks. Virgin founder Richard Branson has completed the Virgin Galactic Unity 22 trip, beating Jeff Bezos to the billionaire space race. Branson now has a significant an advantage over Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos in the flight. There were no problems on board, and it was a successful suborbital test flight for Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. According to recent interviews, SpaceX creator Elon Musk seems to have no interest in the post, according to Yahoo Finance. This is the opposite of what you'd expect based on the facts. However, Musk isn't exactly renowned for his ability to maintain his end of the bargain. We'd want to know which watch he plans to take into space with him to keep track of time throughout his voyage. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how today's video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.